Hey, it's Melissa with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. And um, here I am, Facebook Live. Um, and geez, I can already see myself on my computer already. Just gotta love that. <laughs> Doesn't usually show up that fast. Um, so if you're uh, joining in, uh, nobody's here live yet, but if you're um, coming in for the replay uh, or you're on YouTube, I uh, just want to uh, talk just a second about uh, the types of videos that I share on YouTube. So most of what I share on YouTube, hi, welcome somebody. <laughs> Let me know who you are. Um, so I'm just talking a little bit about this type of video versus um, what I do on YouTube. So this is a Facebook Live video. Um, so this is mostly relevant if you're coming back um, uh, and seeing this on the replay or seeing it on YouTube. So. Um, most of the videos I do on YouTube are um, sort of produced, if you will. I edit them, I do voiceover, and they're really kind of quick. I make them sort of short and they're instructional and focused on a project. Um, but when I do Facebook Lives, uh, it's a little bit different. And I think it's pretty cool because it's a way for me to get to know um, my audience, get to know you guys, my crafty friends, and um, for you to get to, me, to know me a little bit better. And you also get the latest updates and news, and I do giveaways, and then of course I also do a project demonstration. So um, if you are somebody who really just wants to cut to the quick and get to the projects and you don't care about the announcements or knowing me or whatever, <laughs> Or me knowing you, then you can usually generally jump to about the middle of this uh, YouTube um, video or Facebook Live, and you'll um, you'll find the project demonstration. And I always do something fun, so hopefully you'll think so and you'll you'll join in. So um, just gonna give it a few minutes and uh, let people join in on the live. Um, I've been doing these for um, maybe a month now, trying to do every Thursday at 4 p.m and uh, sharing a project and the latest updates. And um, so whether you're joining in for the live or for the replay, I hope you'll enjoy it and comment and play along and, um, and enjoy the project. So usually what I cover in these is a little bit of, um, uh, a little bit of personal news. I have a theme for each time. Um, I give you news and updates of what's happened in the Stampin' Up! world. And, uh, and then I'll do a demonstration and sometimes I have giveaways as well. So, um, so let's see, so let's just, I'll just dive right in and whoever comes, comes. So um, my theme last week was enjoying life and setting more realistic goals. And um, I'm kind of uh, sort of taking the next step with that theme this time. Welcome somebody, <laughs> leave a comment, let me know who you are so I know who's with me. Part of what makes this fun is that I, you know, I'm here with a community of people. Hi, Marion from Iowa, cool. <laughs> Welcome from Iowa, is it cold there? <laughs> it's been cold here today, 40s, so anyway, welcome. Um, so my theme for today, setting realistic goals, enjoying life more. And um, I like to talk a little bit personally at the beginning just to um, sort of, um, uh, I don't know, just have a broader focus um, of what I do. So uh, stamping is all about enjoying life more to me and um, sharing that joy with other people. Uh, and especially at this time of year when we all feel sort of stressed and pressed and you know have all the obligations of the holidays coming up I think it's especially important to think about that and um, my uh, I, I do yoga and in my yoga class this morning it was an awesome class by the way <laughs> I feel like I'm getting stronger um, and I love that um, my yoga teacher always has an interesting th an interesting theme and it's sort of related to my theme of enjoying life and finding more joy in life and um, she was talking about this something she read in um, the New York Times, I think it was, and it was uh, talking about this, she called it FUMO, which is sort of funny, the fear of missing out, uh, and, and related it to how we're all on our phones and checking our phones, and if we have five minutes when we're stopped at a red light, which I do, I'm looking on my phone for something, and, um, and then this same article talked about um, how people who are less distracted actually enjoy life more and find more joy in life. And our phones and so many things distract us and pull us in so many different directions in our lives. Um, that she talked about what she called um, Jumo. <laughs> And that is the joy of missing out. And what she meant by that, of course, is just this idea of trying to make ourselves focus and be less distracted by so many things in our lives, which uh, I do all the time. 
And uh, one of the things that crafting does for me is it forces me to focus. Um, comment if you've joined in. I see there's some additional people that are here. So um, we're talking about my theme for the day. Um, and uh, that is, you know, setting more realistic goals and enjoying life more, finding joy in life. So anyway, this idea of um, the joy of missing out, of narrowing down and focusing in. And when I craft, that's what I do. I focus in. I can't really think about lots of other things. It helps me sort of um, just kind of get lost in the craft. It's almost like meditation, although I've never meditated, but I imagine it might be a little bit like that. Um, and yoga is like that too. I have to concentrate so hard on what I'm doing and I'm using so much um, muscle and you know, focusing on making sure I'm aligning right and all that good stuff that it's almost like meditation in that it helps me focus and it just I don't have those distractions. And, I, and it's, it brings a lot of joy and I think we all need those things in our lives that help us just focus in and remove all the distractions. So anyway, that's just my little, my little tidbit about joy and I'm wondering if you guys all have that experience with crafting or if with, you have that, that experience with other things where when you're forced to kind of focus in, um, it helps you just enjoy life more and, um, and be uh, more present. And this New York Times article, I think it was that she said, um, my yoga teacher, um, that it said that people who are less distracted, I might have said this already, <laughs> um, are more joyful. So anyway, my little, my little tidbit for the day. Let's find joy in our crafting and other things. So please comment if, um, if there's anything that you, you know, that resonates for you in that or if um, you have things in your life that help you focus and find more joy as you focus and concentrate on one thing instead of a million things and looking at our phones. Um, so, okay, so leave a comment. So I do have some business news and updates. Um, and um, I have my list. I keep looking down so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so let's see. Okay, so uh, we're nearing the end of the year, the, year the, the, the calendar year, and we're nearing the end of the holiday catalog, as some of you know, that um, ends on January 2nd. I put it in my newsletter this, um, that went out yesterday that um, the retired list of things that are retiring from the holiday catalog is out now. And um, it was in my newsletter with a link, and I'm trying to remember if I put it on my blog yet. I think it's on my blog. <laughs> I think I'll have to go check. Anyway, this is your list, your urine closeout list backwards. I don't expect you to read it. It's tiny little writing, but the gist of it is there are a bunch of things that are on sale anywhere from 10 to 50% off. And uh, it's three pages long. So it's, it's long list. So most of the things that are in the holiday catalog are retiring. So, um, it's a good time to go and, and uh, get the things that you're interested in. Um, there's also a list. It's much shorter of things that are carrying over. It's actually two pages, but the writing is a lot bigger. Um, and some of those things are things like bundles where the products themselves are actually gonna stay, um, are gonna continue over, carry over, and still be available, but you won't be able to get them as a bundle. And the bundles, um, uh, you get a 10% discount when you buy bundles. So as an example, um, one of the sets that's carrying over is the first frost and the framelits that go with it. I'm, almost 100% sure that that's carrying over, but you won't be able to buy them together at a 10% discount. So um, that's kind of an important detail. And there's some others of my favorites, like Dashing Deer is carrying over, but not as a bundle. The Winter Woods is carrying over, yay, <laughs> but not as a bundle. So those are just some things to keep in mind um, to, um, to purchase if you wanna get the discount or if you want those products. And then of course the retiring products as well. Um, we did a project, I think, I don't know how many weeks ago it was, one of my first Facebook Lives, um, where we used the flourishing, the flourishing filigree, I think that was what it's called, on black foil paper. Um, I have a YouTube video for it because I put the Facebook Live on YouTube. Uh, that is retiring. I'm so sad about that because I really love that set. I'm not surprised because um, it sort of was sort of a hidden gem in there, but um, uh, it is retiring. Okay, so what else should I tell you? What else can I tell you? Okay, so I've mentioned before, I'm gonna mention again, um, I do what I call taste of a sweet product shares. If, you're, uh, um, if you know what I'm talking about, um, you can chime in and let me know. Um, but basically, it's a way to, um, to get a little bit of a lot of products without spending all the money of buying the whole package of something. So a lot of people do paper shares and they just divide up packs of paper. Um, 
I do it so that you're getting maybe four, sometimes five products, designer paper, a little bit of cardstock, ribbon, embellishments, a little bit of each thing, and they all coordinate. Hi, Bonnie, welcome. Thanks for commenting. <laughs> and well, I guess I don't know if you're commenting. It just says you're watching, well, welcome. <laughs> um, anyway, so, um, so Stampin' Up! has always offers suites and their um, products that are intended to coordinate. It's one of the greatest benefits of the Stampin' Up! product line is that things coordinate. So in a suite, you might actually have consumables and non-consumables. My product shares are all the consumables or most of them, whatever is practical. So like I said, designer paper, cardstock, ribbon, embellishments. So I'm going to show you an example and I'm also going to show you a project today that I've made with one of the suites that's coming up. Now you can't get these products now but you can't order my product shares. So this is um, the product share for, it's called the All My Love Suite. On the back side, there's a, a whole inventory of what's gonna be in there. This is the first one that I've made of the set of seven that need to be made. Um, and my product shares are like a pre-order. So you're ordering them between now and January 4th. You pay for them by January 4th. I order everything, cut it all up, make it look pretty, package it in little pet baggies, and then I send it out to you. Um, and I also do a whole menu. So you can see my little menu here. That's There's seven, seven product suites um, with the consumables. This will be on my website. Um, soon. So um, it's, I think, a really awesome way to get a whole bunch of products um, without spending nearly as much money. I think I have it on here. I'll just let you know. Uh, you'd get, if you get all of them, and some people do, um, you get a, a taste, like I say, of 31 products. Somebody's giving me hearts. Yay, somebody. Is that you, Cindy? <laughs> um, uh, it's just stopping by for a minute. Okay, well, I'll take whatever I can get of you. Anyway, um, <laughs> so 31 products, um, plus you would actually get a free celebration item too if you got all of the product shares. But um, for all seven product shares, it's $92.50, but you don't have to buy them all. You can buy one, you can buy two, you can buy five, you can buy whatever ones you want. Um, and But all, all seven of them, you would have to spend $286.52. <laughs> to get them all. So you can get them all for $92.50 instead and try things out and it's really um, a lot of fun. So, um, oh yes, craft therapy, great. <laughs> I agree, yay. There, uh, crafting is therapy. Um, it is for me, it has been for over 15 years. Um, thanks for commenting, Marion. So, um, Okay, so anyway, that's my product shares. I am gonna show a project made with that in just a little bit. If you can't stay for the whole thing, come on back and check it out a little bit later. Um, and let's see, what else do I wanna ask? Yeah, okay. So now the other thing that happened starting yesterday is the Stamparatus case is available to cust for customers to purchase. Um, that was, um, the, the case itself is $29. And I'm just gonna show it to you quick. It's right here. It's got little pouches and pockets for all the little parts and pieces. Um, so it's really, really awesome. And there's a bunch of different accessories. You can buy extra um, plastic sheets and whatnot. The project, one of the projects I'm showing today uses the Stamparatus, so um, uh, you'll get to see that in, in, um, in its full glory. <laughs> so um, I'm also gonna do a special. I have some coupons to give away. Um, I have two coupons, and it will be for people who decide to purchase that case. Um, or the case and the Stamparatus as well. And if you buy the case and the Stamparatus as well, you'll also get some of my monthly project kits, my November, December free card kits or my free card kit program. So um, I'll tell you more about that later and you'll get to see the Stamparatus um, shortly. Okay, so another thing that, that happens to happening today may or may not seem relevant to you. Hi, Bonnie, welcome. <laughs> um, is that... Um, Demonstrators can um, pre-order products from the Occasions catalog as of, t as of yesterday. And with those purchases, we get to get celebration items. Now, I don't say that to be annoying or to tantalize you at all. <laughs> I say that because if you actually, um, there's some benefits to that to people who decide they want to join at the Stampin' Up! family. If you want to buy the starter kit as of yesterday, if, when, you, when you join, you can actually include in your um, starter kit um, products from the Occasions catalog. So that's a pretty cool benefit. Hi, Irene, welcome. <laughs> um, so 
so that's really awesome. And then if you place another demonstrator order later in December, then you would also get celebration items based upon your purchases. Now, the starter kit is only $99. You get $125 worth of product, and there's tons of great benefits. Um, joining is not a huge commitment. It's um, really like joining a club where you get a discount. So um, if you're interested and have questions about it, definitely let me know. It's, it's really, really cool. I've been doing it over 15 years, and I love it. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun. So let's see. Okay, I think we're actually ready to start with the project demonstration. You guys ready? Um, so, okay, here we go. I'm going to flip the camera. Hopefully I won't have any technical difficulties. But before I do that, I'm going to turn the camera around so you're going to see out my, um, out my window. And uh, let's see. And, uh, and, then, and then I'll turn it down to my table. Okay, so here we go. So now the last time I did this, the leaves were all turning and now they're all kind of rusty and uh, not as pretty looking at all. But that's what happens. The, um, the scenery changes completely, but it's also really pretty in its own way. So now is the point where like, I'm not looking at the phone, so it's a little bit harder for me to, um, to see if people make comments, but I'll stand up every once in a while um, and um, and see if anybody's commenting um, on anything. Okay, so um, I may have said this uh, in, in a recent post or I can't remember if I mentioned it out loud. I know I've said it to some people. So what I'm, a friend of mine, Sandra, she did a project and um, what did she call it? Uh, a card in a minute. And I thought, wow, that's a pretty cool idea. Now for me, that's pretty challenging because my cards are generally not that simple. But I decided, well, I could try to do a card in three minutes. <laughs> so I challenged myself and I came up with this card. I'm using this um, new stamp set that's in the Occasions catalog. Um, uh, once again, you can't get it now, but unless you're a demonstrator or you join or whatever, but you can get it starting January 3rd. It's one of my favorite new sets in the catalog. They gave it to us free, actually. Um, as uh, when we were at on stage in early in November. So uh, it was, you know, that, I was really excited about having that one. So now here's my Stamparatus. I've got one of the grid sheets. Now this is one of the new accessories that goes with the Stamparatus um, is these grid sheets and it's um, centimeters on one side and inches on the other. And I have set up my, um, I have set up my Stamparatus to do a fun, a fun little project. So, okay, now I can't time myself, but maybe you guys can. Is anybody out there willing to time me? I wanna just see if I can do this in three minutes. Um, actually, before I start, I need one thing I forgot. Hold on. Okay, I need an adhesive. Can't do a project without some adhesive. Okay, so is anybody, gonna, is anybody willing to time me out there? I usually would do it on my phone, but I can't do it on my phone. Okay, so I'm just looking at my clock over here. I'll get a general idea if I manage to do this in three minutes. Okay, so. <laughs> using my stays on and making myself nervous normally with crafting like it's like the opposite of what I want is to rush <laughs> so it's kind of a little um what would be the word ironic that I'm doing it this way but I just thought it would be fun okay so on your market set go so I'm going to ink up my hummingbird and I've um positioned it oh no that's not the right position oh dang it <laughs> okay let's get that right I think I had a piece of paper that was had it all lined up for me and I oh there it is. This is what I gotta do. Okay. Turn off the timer if anybody's timing me. <laughs> okay, so here's my scratch paper that I used the first time around, and I made myself a little mark as to where my piece of cardstock needed to be. So I'm just putting my cardstock in there, putting my magnet on there, I've already inked it up, and I'm just gonna stamp my hummingbird and it's still too high. What the heck so much for best laid plans okay now we're <laughs> stop timing me you know <laughs> are you all laughing at me now hi Pam <laughs> welcome okay let's try this again okay so I've got my uh, I don't know how I did that I got my position wrong but this is where it's gonna stay okay so I'm gonna stamp my hummingbird Okay, so it, it moved it a little bit. I'm telling you, you, this works out just fine when you're doing it like with nobody watching and then and then people are watching. It's like, oh man. 
So it's, it's, it's a little bit sticky because I'm using stays on. And then I'm going to do a third one. So I probably needed to make the inking a little bit more juicy. So now here's the cool thing with the Stamparatus. And I, I now I know I've already messed up my three minutes because I'm going to have to redo this. But this is the joy of the Stamparatus. The position should be just right. Now, um, I did actually, it did pull up a little bit. So there's a chance it might not be exactly right. But hopefully it'll be close enough. So I can ink it again and put it down on there. And it goes right over exactly where it was before. So pretty darn cool. Now then I've set up I've set up my flower so I can do the same thing. I'm not going to do that right at the moment, but I'll show you a sample at the end where I did do that. And then I've set up my other uh, Stamparatus um, piece of, uh, let's see. Let's see, what did I do here? I almost hung up here. No, I did do I don't know what I did. I thought I had this all perfectly set up, and apparently I don't. <laughs> all right. That's okay. You're seeing real life. This is the real me. Okay, so now I'm just inking up this one word, the sentiment. It looks like it is actually in the right position there. Um, wishing you an amazing birthday. Okay. So if I had this all set up right, I probably would have been able to do it in three minutes. But here, you kind of get the idea. So... And now I'm just going to go ahead and attach it. I mean, I, I won't actually attach it. I'm just going to show you the final result. So that's my basic card. So card in three minutes. I think that's pretty doable. But there is actually one other little embellishment I've added to this. So my um, rhinestone jewels, just to spice it up a little bit. And I did also do another one with the flower. So what I also wanted to show you is... Um, another way to use the Stamparatus, and I'm actually going to set it up, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's a project that I shared on my website um, a couple of days, actually, was it Monday? I think it was Monday. Um, and it's really a very cool little trick. Okay, so let's, let's start doing this. Where is it? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and now you really get to see me, like, in... Uh, I'm doing it live in front of you without practicing anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, hummingbird and I'm going to stamp my hummingbird first and I have to figure out where it's going to go. So I'm going to eyeball where my paper, let's see where my paper is going to be. And this is where it's going to take a little bit of experimenting. Okay, now this is the new cling style stamps. You see how I'm having to kind of work at it to get those off. It's super clingy. Have you guys heard of the new cling style stamps? They're doing away with wood mount stamps. And, um, and we're just going to have um, the cling and photopolymer. Okay, so what I am going to do... Okay, now I'm thinking... I have to think about how I did this. Um, gotta get my project sample. Where did I put it? Too many things sitting around. Can't find my project sample. Okay, now I'm really winging it. <laughs> okay, so what, essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the um, the hummingbird like be sort of sucking the juice out of the flower. Does that make sense? So I'm going to stamp my hummingbird. Okay. okay, we're going to try this um, position. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually stamp it on the scratch paper to out if it's close. I might have to do a couple of different iterations of this. Okay, and now I'm going to sort of pretend that the hummingbird is sucking the juice out of the flower. Okay, turn that around. Ah, yes, Pam. Yes, so you agree with me that hummingbird is one of your all-time favorites. I'm, I'm with you. Okay, so now I'm going to try to stamp my flower and see if I have, generally speaking, the right position. 
and I'm probably going to have to adjust it just a little bit, is my guess. And this is just my setup. Ooh, oh my gosh, how did I do that so right? I did that just exactly where I wanted it to be. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> uh, I would not expect that to be to happen the first time. Okay, so now I'm going to place my paper where I want it to be. And I'm going to need my magnet to really hold it down tight. Um, so let's see. Okay. And just to make sure, I'm going to actually ink up my stays on a little bit more just to make sure it's really juicy because I want to make sure this is going to work well. And if it's, if it's, uh, it's a sticky ink anyway, stays on, but if it's, um, if it's uh, dry, it's even stickier. So let's see if I get that right. Okay, so stamping my hummingbird. The magic is coming, I promise. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna get my mask. Now, this was stamped on a post-it note and then cut out. And what that, it then becomes a mask for over my hummingbird. All right, now I'm going to stamp my flower. And it's actually kind of good to have a something underneath there, either an ink pad or a stamp set. Hold it up. And I'm going to stamp it over the top. All right, you guys ready for the magic? <laughs> magic is coming. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hummingbird off, and it looks like my hummingbird is drinking the nectar from the flower. Pretty cool, right? Looks like the flower is in behind. So um, anyway, I have a card on my website. It's also somewhere on my desk around here somewhere, and I can't find it, uh, <laughs> um, of exactly that card. And I did a water, I watercolored the... Um, the hummingbird and the flower, and it turned out really, really pretty. Has anybody seen it? Anybody who's here, have you seen it on my blog? It was part of the Color Fusers blog hop on Monday. And so now, of course, I'll make this into a, a you know, I'll make it into a card. Right? It doesn't necessarily have to have a sentiment, but I could probably have space for it up there. Put a few rhinestones on there. Just super, super simple. Um, I'm not really a simple sort of gal when I design, but, um, I just love it. I think it's uh, it, it works. So there we go. There's our there's our designs. Okay, so I've done some other ones with this, and um, I was going to show you, but I don't know. Do we have time? <laughs> Do you guys have time? Let's see. Um, I wanted to show you some slightly more intricate designs, um, ones that I did. Oh, look, I found my my card. So there's the one where I did the hummingbird. Now I heat embossed it with gold embossing powder and then I watercolored in. That's cherry cobbler, uh, mint macaron, and um, shaded spruce. Oh, you saw it and you loved it. Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. All right, so I've also done some where I used um, brush -o. So I did the exact same stamping on this one and then I used brush -o. So has anybody seen brush -o? Have you guys seen it demonstrated? Do you want me to show? It. I was thinking I was going to show it. Um, it's ideal to show it on um, different paper than this plain whisper white. So I was actually thinking, you know what, I could just do it. I should just do it. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, so now I want to point out this one was actually done on whisper white. And because it's whisper white, it sort of got all misshapen. So I decided I was going to intentionally make it more misshapen and that that might actually look like, you know, the bird flying. So, um, but that, that's why it's like that. It is actually on purpose. Um, and I created some others as well. Um, okay. So to do the brush or not, 
Who wants to see Busho? Okay, I think I'll just do it. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to do it on the white, and if it curls up, it curls up. I'll just go with it. So I'm going to use, um, and this is like a super simple way to do it. I'm going to do it on this one. It'll be easier. I'm going to actually spray. Um, I'm going to sprinkle my brush on, and I'm going to use in this case um, my brilliant red and my yellow, and um, and then I'm going to spray it. So brush goes a long way. It's like a, like crystals of color. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle it on. And this is sort of a more haphazard way than some other ways. There's other ways to kind of control um, more um, where the ink or the, the uh, brush of crystals go. But this is just a super quick and easy way to do it. So I'm just going to now use my water, my spray bottle, and just do a quick spray. Okay, so. And I think I'm probably just going to leave it at that. So now I could, if I wanted to, I could just kind of, I could play around with this. I could take my aqua painter and actually like blend some of the colors. Um, but I just, I just think that's pretty simple and, and, and pretty just the way it is. The image carries it. So I'm going to stop right there with this. Um, I'm going to show you this one again. I did that one and there's that one. And then, um, I also did this version here, and on this one, you see how it's mostly white around the outside. It's hard to control it completely, but on this one, I actually used my aqua painter, and I wet all of the images first. So only the water was on the image, and then I, um, uh, and then I sprinkled. And it makes the ink or the brush -o crystals stay only where the wet is, and then you can brush off the excess. And then I took my aqua and blended a little bit here and there, but I left some of the pure crystals just showing, as you can see, the colors. This was actually, uh, what did I use? I used the blue and the yellow on this one, and you can see in some places it blended and made, made the green. So anyway, that's that one. Thank you. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you the project that uses that sweet Okay, so again, this is my, I have to remember the name of it, All My Love Product Suite. I'm doing product shares um, that I'm offering towards the end of the month. And as soon as I have some more examples, I'll put it on my website and share it there. Um, if, uh, and once you get your catalogs, it'll be a little bit easier to decide which ones you might be interested in. Okay, so my other project. Bring my stuff over. So last week, I think I showed you this. This is also done with the um, All My Love Suite. And the All My Love Suite has two bundles in it um, the, that are not, that are not, um, that are not, wait a minute, let's see, that are, that are not consumable. <laughs> stamp sets and dies and that sort of thing. Um, I did buy the stamp set that goes with this bundle, with this suite. Um, and uh, so that's what I'm using here. So you can see this, this is what I use there and I use the dies on that. We made this when we were at on stage in Orlando. Okay, so I am just going to, which one do I wanna start with? Okay, I'm gonna just show you this one. I've actually kind of played around with a couple of different versions. Um, the paper, this paper is so incredibly pretty and several of the patterns, um, lend themselves to the design that I'm doing right here. So I'm gonna, just gonna do some quick assembly of my base pieces. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. This is a super simple card also. Um, while a lot of times I'll, you know, I like to do more complicated things, I also love the simple things. So, and when you have a designer paper that's as gorgeous as this, it doesn't really need a lot, honestly. So the color scheme here is the, um, what is that new color? Balmy blue, um, lovely lipstick, which is the bright red, um, flirty flamingo uh, is the ribbon color here, and um, 
the heck? Sorry. It's called um, Soft Sea Foam. There we go. <laughs> it's hard to remember all these names. All right. So there's the, my basic card design. And I'm going to use some of these ribbons so you can see how with the product suite, um, you, um, you don't need a whole lot if you at combine the different pieces and parts. So I'm going to be using pretty much everything that's in the, this consumable suite. So I've actually die cut um, with my stitched edge framelits this circle. And I've used my layering circles framelits to cut out this. And I'm just going to quickly show you those. So these are the sets. So the stitched edge are awesome because they coordinate really well with the layering circles, squares, and ovals because you have all those different shapes to play with. And the, um, the stitch edge just gives it that, you know, it just makes it sort of special. So you can see there. So I'm going to do some simple stamping. And then I'm going to actually show you two different designs. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to use my balmy blue to do some hearts because I figure they don't always have to be pink, right? So I'm going to do. Now, the red inks do stain the photopolymer, so if you're looking at that photopolymer stamp and going, it looks like it's uh, red. It kind of is. Okay. And then I'm going to use my soft sea foam and stamp some foliage. These are images from the set that coordinates. And I don't think this could be a three minute card, but it might be like a five or seven minute card. And uh, you know, it's not a competition, it's not a race, but you know, people like simple and like to know that you can make something without, you know, taking forever to do it. Designer papers always help with that. Okay, so now I got a little bit of each of the colors in there that I want. And then I'll just attach this onto my scallop circle. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> okay, let's see. So, and now I'm just gonna fold this guy over and I'm envisioning this piece of ribbon being sort of like, you know, the, what is it? The arrow that goes through the heart. I don't know, maybe that seems strange, but that's how I'm thinking of it. This is gonna go in behind there. And then I'm gonna fold this in three. Okay, where's my card? Got to get my positioning. Now I like to use um, some tear tape. That's what, what this is. Because <laughs> you can just tear off a piece. I'm not going to actually remove the backing. I'm just going to use it to hold down my ribbon embellishment. So I'm putting that down. Now I have to make sure that that fits over the top. Yay, that's kind of what I was looking for. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals in behind this. I like dimensionals a lot. Does anybody else like dimensionals? I cut them up and then I can, you know, use them all over the place if I want. So I'm going to leave that like that there like I said, and then I'm just going to put down my sentiment. And then I'm going to show you quickly the other version that I did. I'm not going to make it. I'm just going to show you sort of the end result. Oh, my dimensional backings are getting out of control. Okay. There we go. Sure the sentiment's straight. So there's my card. Super simple. I think when you have a beautiful designer paper, you don't really need a whole lot to it. Or beautiful images for that matter. So here's my 
other version. This is what I worked on earlier last night. And I've got, you know, the same arrangement. I've attached that down. That's going to go on here and get attached. And then I thought I would use some of these beautiful epoxy shapes, which are also part of the, the um, product share. And all I need is my paper piercing tool. And I'm just going to use one of the little itty bitty tiny ones. Can you guys see how they're just kind of shiny and pretty? And I think I'll just put it right up here by wishing. But you could put them in a couple different places if you wanted. I think I need one on this other one too. So there you go. So you can see with the um, epoxy hearts, I've cut it in two, right? So half for me and half for you <laughs> or whoever decides to buy the product shares. Um, these are quite a bit of work to put together, honestly, but they're so much fun. And as, I've, as I always tell people, it was a fantasy of mine to have a share like that. Um, where I could get a little bit of a lot of things without having to buy whole packs and I get to try things out. Um, and then I can buy more of the things that I like, only the things that I like, as opposed to, um, you know, having huge packs of a whole bunch of stuff and not necessarily using it all. So um, I'll just quickly show you all the rest of the projects. The projects, there's those. Okay, I want to also show you. So can you imagine, I'm imagining this designer paper, same design or layout, different card base maybe, you know, slight changes to the sentiment piece. Um, but this pattern, I think, would also look beautiful with this design. And then um, there's other patterns in this designer paper pack that are also conducive to, to using this. Some of them are, have hearts in them. And anyway, I just adore this paper. It's some of my favorite paper that's coming out in the Occasions catalog. Okay, so um, just show you the projects again quick. So these are the things that I showed. I will have um, all the projects on my blog um, and uh, that'll be live tomorrow and um, so there's just all the different things that I did so I'll take pictures and some of them already have pictures of and we'll put them up there and you guys can see them there'll be dimensions um, so you can recreate things if you want um, and let's see let me go back to my notes so I can remember what else I need to say to finish up and where are my notes there are my notes. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see my face and I can not really see your face, but I wish I could. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn around. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and now I can start seeing your, I can see your comments again. Ooh, change the light, looks better. All right, <laughs> so a few little quick things to, to finish up. So I'd love to know what you thought of the projects and the, um, and the demonstration. Did you enjoy it? Did you, do you have a stamp Stampratus? Do you want one? Do you want a case? <laughs> I am giving away those two $5 coupons. And um, so it's going to, this is how it's going to work. I have to, um, to describe it. So I have two $5 coupon codes and um, I'd like to give them away to somebody who wants to purchase um, the Stampratus case or the Stampratus case and the Stampratus itself. Um, and if you buy both things, then you'll also get my free card kits for my November, December free card kits. So um, uh, uh, because they're actually coupon codes, there I have to tell you there's a special way that you're gonna have to let me know that you want the coupon and you plan to place an order for those items or item. So. I'm going to ask people to email me, so send me an email. My email address is my full name, melissakerman at gmail.com. And in the subject line, you're going to say dollar sign five for me, F-O-R-M-E. So like you get it. It's like you're getting $5 for you. <laughs> so dollar sign, the number five, F-O-R-M-E. <laughs> um, if you email that to me, the first two people are gonna get that, those $5 coupon codes. If um, you're gonna have a certain amount of time, and I'll, I'll respond and let you know, in which to use the coupon code, uh, place the order, you need to use the hostess code as well. Um, 
and if you don't place your order within that period of time, I'm going to go to the next person on the list who emailed me, only because the coupons and the coupon codes are only good for a certain amount of time. So I wanna make sure that somebody takes advantage of it and, um, and really wants it. So I hope that's clear. Ask me questions um, here if, you, if uh, it's not clear. But bottom line, again, just send me an email, melissakerman at gmail.com, with the subject line, dollar sign, five, the number five, F-O-R-M-E. And I'll, I'll put this in the um, description of the Facebook, um, uh, this Facebook post as well, so you'll have that, um, what to put in the subject line. And, um, oh yeah, catalogs, right? So if you're a regular customer, customer of mine and you've placed an order of $50 or more in the last um, 11 months, I think, or 12 months, um, since January, then I will automatically send you um, the Occasions Catalog and the Celebration brochure. I ordered mine yesterday. Uh, so when they arrive, I'm gonna be turning around and mailing them back out to the people, my regular customers, and people who request uh, a catalog as well. So um, if you want those um, and you know that you're gonna qualify because you placed an order, great. If you're not sure, send me an email and let me know that you want those catalogs. Um, and let's see what else. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a great starter kit deal um, coming in with celebrations. So another thing to know, and you'll be able to get that, uh, the craft and carry case, not the stamp Stamparatus case, but a different case. Beautiful bag I shared um, in one of my previous Facebook Lives. And I'll talk about that more once we get to celebration, which starts January 3rd. Um, and... Yeah, and if you're interested in the starter kit at any point, I'm happy to have a phone conversation, email conversation, text conversation, <laughs> anything you want. Um, I won't pressure you in any way. My goal is to, you know, give you a great opportunity to have a lot more fun and, you know, just find joy in the craft at a different level. Um, and like I said, it's really kind of like joining a club where you get a discount and you get more of a discount the, you know, the more your sales are, the more you purchase. So um, it's pretty cool. And... Um, you know, and there's no long-term commitment or penalty for dropping. So um, just let me know if that's something that you're interested in. And uh, you can do it in advance of celebration, even if you're thinking of doing it during celebration, um, just so you know and are prepared and know what's a good choice for you. So my next Facebook Live will be um, next Thursday, the 13th, also at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, oh, I see Edwina. Yes, the starter kit. <laughs> Yay, Edwina! <laughs> um, and uh, I will be skipping the week of December 20th, obviously, because of Christmas. I'm traveling with my family, and my intention is to come back on December 27th. So um, I'll be here next Thursday, the 13th, and then I'll skip a week, and I'll be back on the 27th. So um, I hope you'll leave comments. Let me know what you think of the projects and of everything. Go to my blog post and check it out once it goes live tomorrow. Um, and if you want that Stamparatus case and the $5 coupon, send me an email, melissakerman at gmail.com, um, with that, um, uh, you know, the subject line. Or, you know, you can make something up as long as you're clear <laughs> that that's what you want. Um, I'll get the point. So, um, anyway, thanks for joining me today. And um, I love what I do, and I love sharing it. And I'm so happy you're here to let me share it with you. So, have a great evening, and um, we'll see you next week. Bye.